Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another series of love reading. Uh, this is going to be for the sign of Leo. So let's see what is coming up for the Leos for this reading. The reading is going to be what is going to be the future of this connection. Whatever connection that you have with a specific someone and you really wonder what's going to come next for you, then this reading is definitely for you. Uh, when I say the future of this connection, I don't mean the far-fetched future or the ultimate future. We're going to talk talk about just the one month time future of this connection like whenever you are checking this reading it's going to give you uh you know what's going to come for you in one month time from that time onwards uh in this reading so it's a timeless reading whenever you're going to check it i hope it gets you the answer what's going to come for you in the connection within one month time from that time on so yeah like i said this is uh, for the sign of leo so yeah we're going to also tap into some oracle guidance around the connection that you have with a specific someone as well so stay tuned and um, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So let's see what is coming for the two of you in this connection in near future. Leos, let's see what's going to be the future of this connection. What's going to be the future of this connection? What's going to be the future of this connection? Whatever connection that you have with a specific someone, let's find out what's going to be the future of this connection. The future of this connection depends on a new beginning, um, which could be sexual. Especially if you have been physical with a person, I feel like, you know, this, this is going to identify or, you know, where the connection is going to go. This this connection that you have with a spe specific someone is very passionate, if not sexual. Um, I feel like, you know, the base of this connection is passion, sex, um, or maybe it, that's how it all, uh, you know, it started off. It can be that as well. But I feel like, you know, the, there is something which bonds you two together more than anything else is the physical connection, or if not, then the passion, um, obsession, uh, in this connection, which is the one thing which bonds you two together even now, even if you're talking, even if you're not, this is one of the base thing, uh, or maybe it has always been the thing which always brought you two together because you feel the passion for each other, which is matchless and which is something that you don't feel for another person or that you don't have with another person. So yeah, let's see. What is the future of this connection? Maybe it all depends on a reconciliation or having a meetup with this person, but let's see. What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? Whatever connection that you have with a specific someone, let's see what's the future of this connection. Let's begin. Let me put the deck here so I can put out the cards. Let's see what's the future of this connection. The one that you have with a specific someone. Let's start. Nine of Swords. There is something that that is bothering the two of you uh, and this this pain this hurt this uh, anxiety around this connection is going to go a little longer i feel like you know maybe you are on the verge of uh, either putting an end to this connection or putting an end to the stress that is you know definitely getting the best of this connection right now um i do see a lot of troublesome situations uh you know that that you might be going through with this person as well um but i feel like you know it's about to end i do see with the nine of swords it seems like you know whatever it is that is or that has been blocking the connection i feel like you know it's on the verge of ending things might change um for the better of you in this connection or uh, maybe it it's gonna end uh let's see how it goes what else is coming up for the two of you in this connection? The tower moment. I do see some sort of uh, shake up, wake up thing happening in this connection, which is definitely gonna uh, help you basically come out of it. Maybe an unpleasant thing gonna happen. Be that with you, be that with the same person that you are dealing with. That's gonna put an end to this stressful period of you two in a connection now for some of you maybe the connection itself is going to end because it has been the stressful thing in your life for others of you the stressful thing in this connection is going to go away with something unpleasant happening either with you or with the person or within the connection i do see that you know once the tower moment happened be that for you be, be that for the person or be that for the connection 
things gonna get positive i feel that let's see what else do we have coming up for the two of you in this connection but i feel like you know with the nine of swords energy it seems like you know the the stress is gonna go away the tension is gonna go away maybe the way it triggers uh you know what the the thing that triggers this change in this connection might not be positive but eventually i do see it coming um you know falling into place for the two of you let's see the next card knight of wands wow there comes the passionate person again in the picture uh i will be taking clarifier for all these cards here so yeah let's see more cards first five of cups mm -hmm. for some of you you might break up with this person or this person might break up with you or maybe it has already happened and as it happens there is going to be a new uh, you know um a reconciliation coming up very quick with with the same person so if it ends if it um you know if you stop communicating with this person don't be upset i do see that it will like you know the connection is going to revive again and that too for you know in a, in a better way let's take two last cards three of wands you might have to wait for the reconciliation to happen but i feel like you know it's going to happen with the five of cups there are two cups left there, are, there is still hope there is still love there is still passion in this connection but maybe it's going to take time to to have a reconciliation with this person let's take the last card here seven of pentacles but i feel like you know, the waiting is going to be more than what you would like to have uh i do see um I do see some sort of a shake up in this connection coming up for the two of you. I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, maybe you are already in separation or, you know, dealing with some, you know, issues in this connection with the specific someone, but it's getting worse. But once it's done, once it's over, once it's like, you know, finished, there is going to be a new beginning happening in this connection. Let's take the clarifiers now to find out. Now, I would like to mention here again i don't sugarcoat things if i see something i talk about it if i don't see a reconciliation i won't say oh my god the reconciliation is coming through i'm not one of those who would sugarcoat things to please people because i'm not here to please people i'm here to talk about what i'm picking up with the energies that i can see with these cards here so i to be very honest i do see some sort of ending coming up i do see some sort of a uh, you know, I do see some sort of a waiting period coming up, some sort of separation coming up in the one month time from now onwards. For some of you, I feel like, you know, maybe it's about to end. I don't know, with the Nine of Souls energy, I feel like, you know, for some of you, you might have already experienced this and then it's about to end. Now let's take the clarifiers to reconfirm the messages here and then we're going to take the Oracle cards around the situation that you are dealing with this person. Let's see... Um, Let's see the clarifier for each card here. Let's start with the Nine of Swords. What is it? <sighs> There's lack of com uh, communication in this connection. One person is busy with something and the other person is really missing them. So I feel like, you know, there is either lack of communication or something around those lines where the person is not getting enough in this connection. Um, I do see an ending. As the connection ends, you're both going to realize, oh my God, what I'm doing here. You know, you're going to take the mask off from, you know, from, uh, you know, individually. And then you're going to realize the true love that you have for each other. Then... Ooh, the masculine here is going to be like, uh, hold on, wow, the masculine is definitely going to understand the connection more, and then comes the two of cups for the five of cups, as I said, I, I could see that coming through, but again, it seems like, you know, the, that shake up, wake up call has to happen, I don't see it coming very smoothly, very easily, and you know, you're going to have a reconciliation with this person. I do see that coming through, but for majority of you, I feel like, you know, you will have to wait. Now, if you have been in no communication separation already, then this is about to end. You're about to have this thing coming up very soon, this reconciliation, this you, your person having a wake-up call around this connection, you having a wake-up call around the same person. I do see that coming through very quick, especially if you have been separated with this person for quite some time. Let's see the last two cards here. Three of Wands, please. King of Swords. 
eight of wands your person might have been out of communication with you which has definitely been like you know the thing for the you know what, what has been affecting the connection really bad lately they might have been not talking to you because of their work scenarios uh but they're gonna stop you know yeah they, they, you know whatever that was stopping them I feel like, you know, that's going to go away. You're going to have a reconciliation with this person. So if the connection is ending during this one month time, let it end. There will be a new beginning happening in the connection. It might take time. Let me see how long would it take for majority of you to reconcile. <laughs> I, I don't think it will take long. But you would feel like giving up on this person or this connection. But you won't be able to do that. Why? Because this is a soulmate connection that you have with this one person. Let's see the oracle card. Let's take one card from this. And then we're going to take some fairy oracle card there as well. To get your additional guidance around this love life situation that you are having within one month time with your person. Let's see. Nothing is yet set in stone. Whatever breakup thing happening, whatever separation thing happening, that's not the only or the ultimate thing happening in this connection so just relax just calm yourself up i do see you will be very vulnerable thinking negative around this like you know you would feel like maybe it's over it's ended like you know maybe they have moved on they're going to move on this and that no nothing's going to change in this connection that you have with this person they will not be able to move on you will not be able to move on you are just trying to come together why because this is a soulmate connection <laughs> so yeah stay happy um just just let things be um maybe this ending is gonna teach you both that you both uh, love each other so much maybe you are you have been taking it for granted lately maybe you or your person or maybe both of you so just just go easy on yourself just go easy on this connection so yeah let's see the oracle guidance with the fairy card let's see what do they want to add to the reading for you and the connection tree wisdom the tree dried will help you help you navigate through your current situation her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Wow. I feel like, you know, the time apart is very important here. It's going to evolve you two individually, which is going to help you both evolve this connection that you have with this person. Uh, spending some time in the in the in the nature is going to help you a lot especially if you could spend time in the greenery um, that too is going to help you a lot plus listening to positive happy music too will help you open up to the guidance coming through the divine in this connection or in the current situation that you are dealing with this specific someone um, I feel like you know I would definitely suggest you not to listen to any sad music during this time just just because that's going to make you feel bad in actuality whatever is ending it's just going to be like a uh, it's it's a must for the two of you to understand each other or to love to understand the love you both have for each other it's it's very you know it's very um important right now the separation is very important in this connection right now let's see uh, the last card here ask for help Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies can say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Again, spending some time in the universe or seeking some signs coming from the universe is going to help you a lot to understand what's coming up for you in this connection with this specific someone. Um, you can also seek guidance through tarot. Uh, you can also seek guidance through meditation. You can also seek guidance uh, in terms of like, you know, if you have any fear, doubt, questions, Ask that question, meditate on that question, and let the universe guide you in yes or no. The You might see some feathers around this time as well. You might see some uh, dreams where you are walking on the on, uh, on the green path or something. That too is going to help you to know what is it that you are seeking. So make sure before you fall asleep, you meditate for some time. Seek guidance if you want. And let the universe help you, guide you through. You have to be open and receptive uh, receptive to the messages coming from the divine as well in this particular time. And you really have to stay positive. I cannot emphasize enough on that, you know, um, one thing that you really have to stay positive and receptive. Uh, so, you know, whatever is ending, whatever is happening, which makes you feel like, you know, it's over. It's not, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna end the connection. It's just a um, it's, it's just a, you know, a compulsory thing that has to happen in this connection. So you could understand, love each other better. So yeah, this promise it comes up for you for this reading. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.